Alliances turn to pick. Chaos Knight. Uh, as well. I think he just has to stack. Yep. Universe is not going to really in too much trouble here as long as uh, he stays within his creep wave. As Lodo's going to make his way up and maybe he's out of position here. As they, if they're... If, they have to go on him now, or we get the surge, but way too much damage on the eye on the shell. Lodo's well, like, taking it lighter, but now AJ with that Sunray, Lodo coming through as well. Can they take down Universal Turn, drop a shell, but he's gonna go. First bad for EGM. They will lose Lodo in return as Buffy comes in. We'll see at what point, you know, Elias is out to, uh, are able to find the kills across the map. I mean, maybe top lane, looking for Universe. Getting the spirits in, bringing them back. They've got a stun as well. This should be another one here for a loader. And indeed, waits out the surge, follows through with a stun. And it's going to be a second kill for Alliance on that top lane. Quickly, too. The blink dagger not being as necessary. You've got a lot of different ways to initiate. Uh, just heads up. And the stats for the puck break out really well. The double null talisman make it quite difficult to trade. Potentially, in a game like this, though. Depending on how well this offlane does, he might just decide to go for the Oh board. yeah, Dream Card Drop, DJM tries to temper across, but this is what we're talking about. Five and a half minutes in, Envy getting himself involved. They'll find one and now looking for S4 as well. With Puppy coming in, it's going to be a second one, a double kill for, for Arteezy. And this is what we're talking about, five and a half minutes. He's uh, gliding around this top lane, which he's going to have to share XP with both the Phoenix and the CK, but they also have to get their Chaos Lens in solo XP, and they have to get their Phoenix in solo XP, so it's a matter of just not enough lanes to spread out this amount of XP that they all have to grab. And as a result, you see even Universe hitting his level 6. And the is all behind it. Again, the pressure being put on by Secret, they move in onto S4. He's gonna try and toss back Buffy, he will, but it doesn't matter. Goes down again, killing spree now for RTZ. A team that features a Spectre Puck. And look at this, I mean, Puffy and uh, RTZ, they're ready to go, and Envy jumps straight in. Look at Horn onto Bulldog, Bulldog's gonna go for the TP out. Do they have a Dream Call in the neighborhood? They do. RTZ drops it down, cancels the TP, and now uh, you're not gonna be able to teleport out with that one either. As they'll burst down, Bulldog oh, now, they're taking the load of this. Four heroes on Secret, closing in on the Chaos Knight. He's trying to run, he's trying to hide, he's got the arm, they can get a step out of there, maybe with the healer back, but no, the lost loader as well here, Alliance. Okay, he's falling low as well, he will be able to take a dive out, they do find the kill on Puffy in return. Now it's for can they try and turn? Nice Duke of the Earth by RTZ. Still playing around with them. Look at the Hex out to S4 Universe. Question if he can move himself back in, but he himself has got to run. And the stun though. Oh, when he gets it, S4. Very nicely on the tip and at the same time. Bulldog's oh, found Envy. This could be Alliance bringing it back round and they'll find themselves another big one. Alliance really styling on the map. Very nicely done. I mean, EGM always certainly will die on the way back in. This but really feels like Alliance didn't have to risk his life though. I was gonna like, say, they, they saw it with the scan. Yeah, like you just talked about, they saw it coming in, they know that by going for that play, now the map has opened up a little bit for Alliance. Off of just that one set of uh, kills, now they're gonna grab an Aegis, pick it up on the Tiny, and now S4 is well left. This is a build that I think we've seen How go for from time to time, or at least he grabs a mid booster. Maybe puts them in a little bit better fighting shape. Look at this alliance coming up to the high ground here. They'll catch out Loader on the front lines of Loader. A lot of trouble. EGM coming in for 10, but it's not going to be enough to save him with the Doom Drop on EGM Secret. Will be finding themselves a second. They've lost Pylai Dive, but it's a very good trade at the moment. Can they find themselves anything more? Maybe there's quick turnaround potential, but they can get even more aggressive with Radiant Structures. Secret, they've used a lot of ability. Look at this. What a pick up! Nicely done in the sideline, that secret instantly pinging that out, says no oh, Pi says, I think I might be a ward here, guys. Alliance get the kill, look at the tier one as well, and and the night pick of course here for Loader. Oh, actually. Hold that as S4 again with the stock back loader, pops the arm there, the stun as well. Puffy, he's gone. There'll be a dream call under three from our people. Where's the column universe coming in with the back two? One as well. No, he's ready to fight back into this one. Alliance, they're very much ready, and they are, you know, they want to fight at this point. A secret. They just got to back up. Yeah, a little bit of an odd position to go for the egg there, but our game kind of refresh the cover and they can't send me back in. S4. S4 finding these heroes, chucking them in at RTZ. He's down as well. That's a dominating tree, but okay. I mean, he does get finger, but, it's, but still, nonetheless, the Alliance here. Anakin wants to play this game. He wants to split up, let his team set up for him for these uh, four man kills and oh, S4. They found Puppy in the jungle. S4 with the blink down, sorry, the Shadow Blade reveal, and it's another kill for Alliance. Yeah, she said at least they're going to be able to find themselves another objective here. Secret. They do have Dream Coil up, but 
It's going to be questionable if they want to try and fight into this one and again. Just look at this, S4. I mean, this is ridiculous. That is the fourth. They can kill S4. Everybody from Alliance. Oh, look at this as well. Alliance want to fight. They want to fight. And there's somebody else being used. He can get to That's the Doombron as well. Alliance are moving in. They want to take advantage of the fact that Secret. Here we have Alliance. Don't say that, man. He's going to watch his cast and think he's good. They never let him get complacent. That's puppy. He's going to get crowded up. They might actually have the damage for this. And he can be drawn in. The Earthfight will come out. Maybe this is the chance Secret to turn. Dream Cold War and the Universe doing his best hit for the team. Bulldog. He's going to go down. They'll find the kill on Nature's Profit now. S4 on the back lines, but this time Secret. Are going to be trying to punish him. Do they have protection though? Uh, looks like they haven't pulled any to the fight on this. going to be able to ward this one off. He is going to be A-OK. -okay. So losing Bulldog there. Do you get the tower now, S4? I mean, back in. And they there as well with the Sun. Maybe they can do this. They'll lose S4 though. This time Alliance the ones to make mistakes and Secret the ones to be uh, capitalizing off the back of it. It really does. It really does feel like that. And it's because of the, it is just, you know, these tick kind of the fights around the tier 2 where suddenly the momentum switches, but now Alliance grabbing themselves that end. I think once he sees the BKB, yeah. maybe Ags is actually a really good decision here. And Secret, they're going to take the fight around the fact that they've got the radio. Oh, here we go, on to EGM straight away at the back. Will be pop EGM is gone. Going on the sidelines with the ult, he's ready to move in, starts a fight. Puppy dropped the Doom onto Bulldog in the back of his fight here. It'll be a buyback from the EGM. Here we go, Puppy trying to finish off Bulldog, but it's going to be hard to do so. It's just kind of break up the fight here for Secret. They've lost two. Lone and Espo still hanging around by our tour. EGM and Ake fighting a Puppy. I mean, Puppy, he's in a lot of trouble here. He's going to go down as well, so they'll find themselves a third. Alliance doing it again. And just and what seems to be a bit ultimate, nor do they have the doom. This should be just a free push for them. Absolutely. And I'll just, oh, jump him with a stun. And me. Ah, it's a back towards the nice one as well. The next one straight away there by EGM. Pulled up with the double ultimate. to be flying for this fight. a significant amount of burst. And Ake jumps in with the egg. They're not going to be able to take this one down. Secret. They will find Loda. But Loda's got the agency. He's ready for round two. MV going to get caught out by the sun stun. His puppy is one on the back line. Because in a lot of. If Alliance can start the fight, initiate on a hero, blow somebody up, turn into a 4v5, then it might not actually matter. Oh, and here we go, they found S4 out, he'll put the BKB, but he's been doomed up, coiled up as well, this man. I think he may be a, a very, very dead man, there's not really the save around. EGM's trying to make his way over, but he's too far away, and Secret will pick that one there. He the wall's so pinked far. out as well. Oh, thanks for that. Look, yeah. I think they go for, for the bottom lane. I have Bulldog's looking to TP to set this one up, and here's to relocate. They've got to find MV. MV needs some kind of help. He's not going to get it. Look at the vision of the rift back into the stun. Here's Ake as well with his Ray of Doom. And a big deal for Alliance. 60 seconds. Throw back. There's vacuum all available. Let's we'll see how the defense is. Bell's been dropped. MV does have oh, my There we go. Coming in. Is he going to pop it? 20 seconds indeed. Does he need to get himself back in the county? Put a hold on there and Puppy in trouble. Brought in S4 on the back line, controlling universe, chucking him into the middle of the fray as well. And Puppy falling low, he's got to jump off the side. And EGM has been doomed up. Ake chasing down the Doom, trying to burn him down with the spirits. He's just gone West 4 under the tower. MV should be back in five seconds. Will have that horn up there. Picks off S4 here. They do end up losing Puppy. EGM chased down by Pine, but now the horn coming through. They'll look for a beeline for Ake. They'll jump on EGM first. EGM is going to drop. They'll get Ake as well. Three here on the defense. Double kill for MV. And it's a stronghold from Secret. They are going to lose their bottom rack though, as classic Admiral Bulldog. Lions, can they get themselves in? There's no relocate up if, uh, if the save's going to be necessary. Loader, he's ready to go in. Pops the ultimate, the BKB for as well. Focusing down high on the back line. He has been zoom loaded, but a take play out. At the same time, an MV pulling the BKB at the back, but he turns himself across. He's going to be a successful supernova hit from Ake. No jump in. Puppy as well, falling low. The vacuum, the wall there from the universe. There's no follow up. They can't do anything off the back of that combination. And Puppy's part, the pipe's not going to save him. They'll find themselves a second and now moving in onto Universe Alliance. Look at a third and back into the pit for Alliance. They played that portion of the game very, very nicely, and Secret just feels like they're getting outplayed and outmaneuvered by Lance at this stage of the game. Yeah, top lane is already pushing in, like you saw, S4. I don't look for Envy on the other side of the map. Port's gonna come in from Admiral Bulldog, but as soon as they started pushing in top, they realized nobody was gonna defend this. They realized that they actually walked off. Oh, the oh, the oh, the rat, the rat. Is he gonna bounce? He's gonna get it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Raider! Raise him down! But Alliance now hitting onto the tier 3 of Secret on this top lane. And Secret, they're going to struggle to defend this one. There's a defusal blade now done on Envy, but he's got no horn. Can 
Two walking in on the loader, well, with the control from Pi as well, but again, he's down. He's down the sideline, bringing him in and having to tell him. He's got the heels out, Puppy. Trying to move forward, focusing easy on the bad line, but the cheese is eating and Puppy's down. They've lost Puppy, they've lost Pi like that. They can all lose Envy as well here, and that's 80 seconds off. No buyback from these three heroes as Alliance. They look to be doing it, they'll take down the melee from the top, they'll move towards the mid lane secret, they're not tapping out yet. But this game, 25 to 18 to 38 minutes, the GG is called the Alliance have done it. They've taken down secret here in this first game, and I've got to be honest, it, it just looks a little bit scrappy from some of the calls on secret, and overall, just really, really tight. My team play from Alliance. Yeah, Alliance dictated the pace in all portions of the game. Yeah. They chose where they were going to take the fights. They knew that Secret were going to go for that Roshan, but we saw Secret just did not do it very quickly, which allowed Alliance to get in the pit. They first popped that CK ultimate. Puppy's in a situation where he's got to doom the CK, who's already used almost all of his abilities. EGM's just sitting there healing him up, and they even get the... It's, yeah, so much on the support play. I mean, EGM and Ake, that...